Hello friends, welcome to this interesting video. This video is about quadratic equations. You must have seen my previous videos on quadratic equations discussing about what are quadratic equations and various methods of solving the quadratic equations. If not, you can check the description below and get the links of those videos. Now in this video, we are going to talk about an interesting and the latest method to solve the quadratic equation. Yes, this is the 21st century method to solve the quadratic equation. In the last video, we have seen the relation between the zeros or the roots of a quadratic equation and the coefficients in the quadratic equation. So based on this uh, relations, we are going to see how we can solve the quadratic equation with a very simple method. Let us say the quadratic equation x squared minus 4x minus 5 equals to 0 is given. Now here we can see that the equation already has the coefficient of x squared as 1. So we can write the sum of the roots as negative coefficient of x that is 4 and the product of the zeros product of the roots is the constant term that is negative 5 in this example. Let's say alpha and beta are the roots of the given equations and we know that alpha plus beta divided by 2 is the value exactly in between the two values of the roots. So the sum, when the sum of the roots is divided by 2, that is 4 divided by 2, we get 2. The value 2 is exactly in the midway between the values of the two roots alpha and beta. So suppose number 2 is at a distance of t from the two zeros, two roots, then 2 minus t will give the first root alpha and 2 plus t will give the second root that is beta. So the product negative 5 can be written as the product of 2 minus t and 2 plus t which is ultimately the product of alpha and beta. Now on solving this equation we get t squared equals to 9 or t equals to 3 and if t equals to 3 the two roots alpha and beta which were equid which were which are now at a distance of 3 from the mid value 2 the roots are 2 minus 3 or 2 plus 3 that is negative 1 or 5 the reason here for not taking the positive or negative value of t is even if we consider t equals to negative 3 then positive t will become negative t and negative t will become positive t. So the roots will remain same. Let us take one more example and see this method again. Suppose the equation is 4x squared minus 4x minus 15 equals to 0. Now here the coefficient of x squared that is leading coefficient is not 1. So we need to divide this equation by 4 to get the leading coefficient as 1. So dividing the equation by 4 we get x squared minus x minus 15 by 4 equals to 0. So the sum of the roots of this equation is negative coefficient of x that is 1 and half of the sum that is half in this case. So the value half is exactly in between the values of two roots alpha and beta. The product of the roots of this equation are uh, the constant term that is negative 15 by 4 and that can be also written as half minus t into half plus t. So solving this equation we get t equals to 2. So the roots of the equation are 
हाफ माइनस टू और हाफ प्लस टू विच गिवस नेगेटिव थ्री बाय टू और पॉजिटिव फाइव बाई टू इन अनदर एग्जाम्पल वेर द रू वेर द कोफिशंट्स आर इेशनल नंबर लेट इस चेक इफ यू कैन अप्लाय द सेम मेथड और नॉट सो फर्स्ट थिंग वी नीड टू मेक द लीडिंग कोफिशंट द कोफिशंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेर एज वन सो डिवाइडिंग द इक्वेशन बाय रूट थ्री वी गेट एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस टेन अपॉन रूट थ्री एक्स प्लस सेवन इक्वल्स टू जीरो नाउ The sum of the roots is negative coefficient of x, that is negative 10 upon root 3, and the mid value between the two roots is half of the sum, that is negative 5 by root 3. Now the product of the roots is the constant term, which is 7 in this equation, and the mid value negative 5 by root 3 is at a distance of t from two roots. So we can write 7 equals to negative 5 upon root 3 minus t into negative 5 upon root 3 plus t. Now solving this equation, we get t square equals to 4 upon 3. So t equals to 2 upon root 3. And we know that the roots are equidistant from the mid value. and the distance is t so negative 5 by root 3 minus 2 by root 3 or negative 5 by root 3 plus 2 by root 3 which gives negative 7 by root 3 or negative 3 upon root 3 after rationalizing the denominators we get the roots as negative 7 upon 7 root 3 upon 3 or negative root 3 Isn't this an interesting and easy method? We don't we don't have to do long calculations of square root of discriminant, or neither we have to find the middle terms in the splitting the middle term method. Now this method was recently discovered by an American mathematician that is Po Shen Lo. He he said that this method the steps used in this methods were already discovered by the ancient mathematicians and he just put all these steps together and gave this method i hope you enjoyed learning thank you for watching